hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to a new video so today i am starting a weekend vlog it is a friday and when i woke up this morning i consciously you might want to stabilize this you can when i woke up this morning i consciously decided that i'm going to vlog this weekend so it's about like quarter past six now today was a work from home day um and yeah this is a weekend vlog i have a couple of things going on this weekend so i thought i would take you guys with me throughout this vlog right now i'm about to leave the house my husband's not here he's at work um but i'm about to leave the house now i want to go to the mall and go get new pots guys <laughs> i'm going to la crusade to go and get a casserole pot as well as a pan um the crusade pots are something i've been wanting for like quite a long time but i struggle to convince my husband because one he doesn't understand why pots have to be so expensive and two he just felt like you know it's maybe now is not the time but you know a girl worked a girl worked her man <laughs> until he finally agreed um that we can get like crusade parts this is the thing about being married guys is that you have to be accountable and you have to be you have to consult at least while well, in my marriage that's the case maybe not in all marriages but in my marriage that's the case unless it's like feminine things for myself like hair makeup clothes those things i don't have to consult about but like things for the house child big expenses yeah anyways i'm rambling but i finally convinced him that we could get la crusade parts so i'm gonna head out and go to santa city the mall and get parts for us and how do you guys feel about my face remember in the last vlog i told you guys that this year i'm going to be putting in a bigger effort in my appearance this is part of that this is part of that also i want to show you guys my dress actually um i hope you'll be able to see it properly okay it's a bit dark in here that's better okay let me set this here and show you my dress so i got this dress how pretty <gasps> excuse me and it even has it even has pockets guys how pretty is my dress please okay please i love it i got this dress at poetry this belt though is not from poetry this is from in fact this is my husband's this is from country road i don't know i think it's from country road yeah i think it's from country road and this dress is from this is country road the main section and then this dress is from poetry and then i'm just wearing it with my dw dw bracelet a dw ring and of course my engagement ring slash wedding band but that's my look how do you guys feel about my dress please please like if you don't believe that my dress is pretty i feel like i'm little more okay there's no other explanation um let me head out guys and go to the mall it's quite late and i think they close at like eight also i want to pass willies and get groceries so let's get going I am feeling a little bit rusty on this vlogging thing and I'm not being consistent because whenever I'm gone for like a long time I always come back feeling so bright there we go whenever I'm gone for like a really really long time I always come back just feeling rusty you know but I'm gonna vlog more guys I promise I'm not gonna be as inconsistent okay, I don't promise because you know, I don't know what might come my way, what what may happen in life. And unfortunately, like YouTube can't be a priority right now because well, it doesn't pay my bills, you know? I have to focus on where what pays my bills. And this does not pay my bills. So I can't promise that I'm gonna be more consistent, but I'll try guys, I'll try. I think we're decent. My hair isn't just like a work from home bun like a messy bun but you know what these braids are so old it's probably better if i keep them in this bun let's go to the mall give me love give 
give me all your love Oh, cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah, that's all I need with the intention of buying a part 
and two pans so the pot i initially wanted um was quite expensive like the color i wanted so i went ahead and got the exact same pots but in a different color so i got two pots instead of getting up one pot and two pans i got two pots yeah this thing is so heavy to some and i want i want to unbox it with you guys they were just packing away the groceries um luckily i got a chance to go to Woody's to go and get groceries i didn't get groceries for like the whole whole month i decided to only get like two weeks worth of groceries because we have a tendency of wasting groceries where we buy food and then it ends up going off in the fridge because we don't eat it so i thought you know what let me just buy and only when that food is finished i'll go and find it so this is the first one this color was inspired by Unamra because she went and got something from La Crusade that was this color. That's how I found out Scooty this color is on sale. Was from her. So it's called Deep Teal. This is the Lydia thing. And then this is the pot. This is the pot. It's focusing on my face instead of the pot. Come on, there we go. This is the pot. It is a cast iron 26 centimeters. Pot, and my intention is to just use this pot for making curries, stews, rice, umusho, you know, those types of things. And then I got the exact same pot, but like slightly smaller and in a different color. And that is this one here. I think it's such a hard. So this pot as well is meant to be used for pretty much the exact same thing but i'm gonna use it for when i'm making like smaller portions of like stews curries and so forth this is the color it's like a grayish type of color that's the lid of the pot and then this is the pot it's actually quite it looks much bigger now than it did in the store but this is it I forgot what the color is actually called but i'll go and find out on the website and put the link this one is a 24 centimeter also cast iron and you see it's got this like ombre color situation and it's a 24 centimeter cast iron pot gazinga excited and then this one is the bigger one this one is a 26 centimeter cast iron classic round casserole this is it these pots are a bit fragile actually yes must tell upalisa abe careful when she's washing them but now this one also has a little bit of an ombre detail if you can see it's darker here and it gets lighter and lighter and the same thing at the bottom it's darker and gets lighter and lighter and like i said this is going to be used for um what you call it curries stews mashed potato um porridge oats and so forth and the same with this baby right here listen i am ready to be umakoto shushu and if bantin do you ready to be umakoto or shushu guys i'm so happy about these i'm so happy so Mr. Moloko said we're gonna go and get pan on Sunday, the pans that I wanted. Um, so I think on Sunday after we have lunch or brunch. It's okay, but I get. Oh, also, I think Kilen. Also, did. I left. I ate before I left. Oh, really? Mm. Right. Ah. Okay. We're gonna go on Sunday and get the frying pan. So I'll unbox that for you guys then. But for now, let me pack. Let me toss out these boxes and go to bed. It's actually already like 9 p.m. And I've been struggling to sleep the past couple of weeks. And my doctor gave me a sleeping pill that I need to take every night. So I need to go and take that. But I need to take a shower first. But I need to take my sleeping pill. Delali. Try to take guys tomorrow. 
good morning guys welcome to a new day today's saturday and it's actually like after midday i woke up quite early this morning okay firstly do you see how red my eyes are guys this literally happens to me every single time i wear eye makeup like if i wear any mascara or eyeshadow or eyeliner this happens is i put on some eyeshadow and now like i'm literally paying the consequences for it um but yeah and it usually takes about three to four days sometimes even up to a week for it to clear up it happened on my wedding um if you guys have seen some of my wedding pictures on my instagram you'll see that on my wedding my eyes were like red it wasn't because i was crying i only really cried during my vows and that was it it wasn't because i was crying it was because of the um the makeup that was like affecting my eyes nonetheless gay okay, um that's why my eyes are red but today is saturday and i'm actually going to get home today to go and visit my aunt and my two cousins um it was my aunt's birthday yesterday so i thought let me make some lunch and bring a cake and come and see her um yeah so that's what we're doing i just need to quickly tidy up and then i'm gonna do like a little bit of the cooking here at home so that when i get there we can just like eat i just basically need to fry some patties and some bacon um but everything else we can kind of put together when we get there also another thing the reason why i'm wearing the same dress as i was wearing yesterday is because i need to just tidy up the house and i need to cook and i don't want to make the dress that i'm going to wear today dirty so that you know what let me just wear this um so that if it gets dirty it's this that i've already worn and then i'll put on what i want to wear like before i leave last thing guys i am trying to lay my edges because these braids are very very old right they're very very old but i'm struggling they've got three um like edge control things that i that i use and i alternate between them and all of them suck basically <laughs> so if you know of any um and you can advise me the three that i use are the got to be glue gel i think it's the black one and then i also use an eco style is it eco style yeah i think that's the brand eco style one the red one and then i also have another one by l'oreal that my friend corsi introduced me to a lot like quite a while ago but they don't work in laying down my edges guys i don't know like if the edges are some himbo or what but they just they just don't work okay maybe i'm not applying enough i'm applying too little but if you know of an edge control that i can use please can you recommend it for me in the description box below or if you know someone who reviewed it on a video please tell me the youtuber and then i'll go and like uh, look for it but yeah for now let me just tidy up the house and then i will head out so i'll cook first and then i'll head out come on So extra, but I know I'm the same. Yeah. Love me in spite of my trauma. Give me what I need instead of the drama. Cause when it pop off, it's like oh my, all good all day, but the night we be going so hard on the flip side. So tell me we'll be on a day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow like, you, leave But we could go all night all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should've talked through it in detail Our separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right 
So tell me where we on a day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? So this good sir is back and he's gonna help me with the laundry he's gonna pack away the laundry and i'm gonna cook so like i said i'm going to fry uh beef patties for us some bacon and then i'm also going to make uh, my chips as well like, like potato chips yeah that's my plan and I'm going to leave like in the next five minutes I'll be delayed but I just wanted to make a house that I need so like I said we're having burgers so I just made some beef burger patties with some bacon how good does that look burger patties and some bacon and then on this side I made some potato wedge chips that's what we're gonna have and then in here I packed a mushroom sauce but I know that not everybody likes mushrooms so I also packed this Woolies pepper sauce as well I actually prefer this pepper sauce but my husband prefers the mushroom one so because I don't know what my aunt and cousin would like I'll just take both and then we got a cake from Woolies that's what we're gonna be having for lunch I'm just gonna quickly go and get dressed and then I'm gonna head out it's already like after one for this you guys been in read about the dress this is the dress and it comes with like about i'm sure this belt is supposed to be tied at the back Sure this belt's supposed to be tied at the back but i'll put a picture here i posted a picture on instagram of what this dress looks like i'll put the picture right here but this is it 
but I don't like it with the bow because I prefer I feel like it fits fine just the way it is and also I'm not going anywhere like go not going to an event I'm going to my aunt's house <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on my Daniel Wellington okay maybe instead of this one let me do this pink one yes I think that's better and then a bracelet and then my other ring I mean if you are not looking like my first weekends are you even wearing enough jewelry that's the question that is the look I like it I'm not actually gonna do my hair I'm just gonna leave it in this really messy bun I'm literally leaving here going to my aunt's house coming straight back here so it's not that big a deal and be honest. Let's go. That's still not fresh. You do, baby. You can smell it. I can smell your perfume. Can you? Mm hmm. Long time? No. I can, promise. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. <laughs> what in my leg? I didn't go. And my phone. Oh, Mama, do you know? Is she home? Yeah, she is. She should be. Oh, my God. Father, what's the other I think we're in the vibe. I don't vibe. I'm trying to do it. like it. That's the gila, Mama Duna. Okay. It's a bad vibe of food. I'm going to try the kind of Of course. If I'm going to play chill, I'm going to play. Of course we have to drive it in. Good morning again guys. Today is Sunday. Um, and today is a church day. It's about 7 a.m. now. And we literally have to leave for church in the next 40 minutes. Fortunately, I've already showered. Don't mind my washing machine running in the background. Um, I'm just finishing off some laundry so that my help I can do our ironing tomorrow morning. But when she comes in. But yeah, today is a church day. Debo and I are going to go to church. After church, I have a nail appointment because... What is this, honey? Like, my nail tape, guys, is so good. I've had these nails for like three weeks. And they have come to the end of their useful life. So it's time for like, either a fill or like a whole new set. But the bad news is that my helper is leaving. Um... Johannesburg she's moving to Saudi Arabia so I don't know what I'm gonna do now I kind of freaked out when she told me but you know I try to be happy for her because I am happy for her because upwards and upwards for her but now I'm tired because who's gonna do my nails so I think today I'm gonna soak off these acrylics and I'm gonna do gel because gel is something I know how to do at home so when I need to redo it again oh this thing is so loud in the outside machine is so loud I hope it's not too bright yeah what I'm saying is that each gel is something that I'm able to like do myself at home and so I wanted to soak off these acrylics so that when the new gel that she does on me grows I can then soak it off myself and redo it myself so I have to go back to doing my own nails but I have to find somebody who's gonna do my pedicures 
because the girl can't reach her towels. <laughs> so I have to find somebody who's gonna do my pedicures still. And then my waxes, I'm still gonna keep my wax lady um, or angel. But now I don't like the idea because I used to do my manicure, pedicure and waxes at the same spa. And I wanna continue using the same lady at Life Lax or Angel to do my waxes. But now I have to go find someone to do my pedicure. Yeah. Um, I'm not happy about having to do my own manicures, but it's gonna save me a lot of money. So there's that benefit. But anyways, after my nail appointment, I'm gonna go back to La Crusade again and get a frying pan. So we had agreed that I was just gonna get um, those two things that I got on Friday because that was our budget for this month but he was like no it's fine baby I'll buy you another one because um, he knows that I really want a frying pan so we're gonna go and get that at La Crusade and then we're gonna go and have lunch and then I want to try and meal prep tomorrow it's not tomorrow sorry later tonight hence I need to wash the dishes now so that I can meal prep tonight when we come back so that we have food ready to eat like during the week yeah yeah gone but yeah let's get to meal prepping and then i need to make my husband breakfast as well yo here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything i like the way church there's church right there we just came out of church and now i have a nail appointment at life like so when i head there now are you gonna go to the office while i go do my nails oh uh, somebody needs to make the money in this family so it's about nanjay lima and the entire day you and your friends you guys work for three hours a day Baby. <laughs> <laughs> guys i don't work for three hours a day please don't listen to that i don't work for three hours a day i work a full nine to five job uh, uh, that's literally what I you think, say I that my money is monopoly my accent money is monopoly money because i ain't loot no because it was like <laughs> you know it wasn't real it wasn't real <laughs> it was very real <laughs> um so he's gonna go to work while i go do my nails at the spa i'm gonna do a mani and a pedi but yeah we just came out of church what a piercing sermon it was what a piercing piercing sermon let me go my seat back what did you pierce us I'm not that. Well, I do, but I don't want to get my daughter. Oh, so <laughs> this is like the rushing to your appointment of food. There's Bryanston High School. It's so bright. But there's Bryanston High School. That's a high school I went to, guys. Honestly, I used to live in Joburg before I moved to Cape Town. Oh, it's 
Brian's denied. So I think it's something that like, I was trying to write down the book that he was talking about. Um, about wealth and money. And I think it's something that I also want to take time to investigate. Um, and I think like it was something really important. And it's something you're going to have to like take time to really read into as a sole focus of yours. In, in during the course of the year in your spiritual journey mm. um, in the same way like John Pepper talks about like how Romans 9 bothered him so much that he took hey, five baby, months Roman, Romans 9 bothered me for a long time mm. well Passion I used to have those discussions like for weeks on end because mm. both of us were like surely not surely this cannot be saying what we think it's saying because this is not how we've always heard that God is yeah, no, it has bothered me, but it also makes sense in a sense that, like, I sat back thinking, are they saying that God decided from the beginning of time that there are going to be people that he creates for destruction? Creates for That's for destruction. exactly what it says. And then there are people from the beginning of time that are human That he sets say. aside for glory. And then what does it mean about God's morality? And. Yeah. What kind of God would go out of his way? Would go out of his way to literally like be so, be so cruel. Yeah. But I guess like you're saying, Uwuti, the reason why so many of us struggle with Romans 9 is because we impose our human morality on it. Mm. And we believe, Uwuti, our human morality is what is correct. Yeah, it's because we, we have shaped, our view of God has been shaped through our view that Surely, if you're a good person, you won't want everybody to to perish. Yeah, you wouldn't. Or, or you want, or, or you wouldn't want certain people to perish. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't actively create certain people yeah. so that they can perish. Exactly. Yeah. You associate Go, that kind of behavior with, with cruelness with and cruelness, evil. Exactly. Like yeah. No, Shem, I struggled for a very, very, very long time, and then Opesh like enlightened me to because I always used to ask Okuba, but why would God be so cruel? Why would God be so cruel and create certain people for destruction and for dishonor? And like, Paul addresses it when he says, Guba, but who are you? Uh. You are a piece of clay and yet you want to ask God who created you. Like, do you ever hear clay saying to the potter, why have you made me like this? You know, and then he also, he uses the example of Pharaoh, the fact that God created Pharaoh for the purpose of destruction. And, and 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 the reason why Pharaoh Pharaoh's heart had no chance of ever changing because God purposefully hardened his heart mm. you know but then one can then beg the question but if God purposefully hardened Pharaoh's heart it means that Pharaoh had no choice he didn't have a chance at repentance right but then why would God still punish him mm. but that was my other thing in a sense that I had viewed it as a people have a choice to choose good and bad, and then they choose the bad, and that's why they choose uh, destruction. Destruction, and then Romans nine goes no hope. Nobody no. can choose exactly it because is. if we were to all choose, we choose destruction. We choose destruction. All of us would choose destruction. Yeah, but God selects a certain few yeah. and ensures that they choose Him. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Um, yeah. But but all of it ties to the glory of God in a sense that the human existence is for his glory, is for his glory. and for his purposes exactly. and no other reason and no other reason apart from that he's not he didn't choose to save people because they've done anything special he didn't choose to create people and then send other people to hell send other people to heaven because um, of any other reason apart from exhibiting his glory yeah his perfect decision in saying I'm gonna create the stars, the moon, the sun, and these people this way was to, for his glory. Was for his glory. All of it goes into his his story of of glory of his glory. Mm. And in his view, and in his perfect view, this is the best way in which he wanted to exhibit and and and, and his and, and, power and, his and might and glory and exactly. mercy and love and wrath and exactly. all the characteristics. Exactly. Okay. Was that drop again? Yeah. Uh, was that again? And then the Tala baby, Tosso, Pumam Sevens, and Ozon Land, and the Turk, and Tobago, who is a tiny flowers, ne? Why? For two me, Galoko. Does drive it? Yes, please. You're gonna go take a make a U turn, the Pesce clean. I'll tell you, I have an appointment. Okay. What are you doing? You want to join me? Sapi Lang, drop her off in.
Do you appointment? A life likes. I turn left, turn right. And then also check up high cycling. You see that circle right there? You're gonna drop me right there. The oh. entrance is right there by the circle, yeah. Okay. And then drop your corner up. And then check your legs and then, yeah. Please get flowers and like a little bit of chocolate. Hello. Do you have any chani? You last day got to me, Yeah. I'm fat. And Mars is full. Oh, Mars. Mm-mm. Oh, too. Uh-uh. What are we doing today? Mm -hmm. I was gonna do a circle and then do jaw. <laughs> okay, that that that's that's fine. Then I think should I should I do a fill then? Yeah, I yeah. do a fill.
it's much later in the day guys the book and i got back from tasha's this thing bright enough can you see me yes the book and i got back from tasha's went to the tasha's that's in santon at about we probably got back oh and we went to la croce and espresso to get some coffee and another pan um and we probably got back home around three or four o'clock and Jonah, we were exhausted <laughs> actually actually exhausted so we crashed and only woke up around like eight and it's now like nine o'clock and i need to meal prep <sighs> i can't believe this but you know what Nate? if i don't do it gizo sola i'm going to regret it if i don't do it so i must just suck it up i must honestly just suck it up and i must do it because if i don't do it i am 1000 percent going to regret it when we don't have food during the week so i'm gonna try and speed through this meal prep so that i can go to bed by like 11 at the latest it's nine o'clock now i'm gonna try to finish by half past 10. i'm just gonna make um beef with uh cauliflower uh, cauliflower i'm gonna make a beef stew with mashed potato but for myself i'm gonna make mashed pumpkin because i'm starting low carb in the new month in feb so i'm gonna make myself mashed pumpkin i'll make the hubby mashed potato and then i'm gonna make some chicken pieces but angus will send a shebo not a shebo like um veggies and starch for the chicken i'm just gonna put the chicken in the freezer i'll make the starch and the veggies for it like later in the week like on wednesday because the beef we're probably gonna eat it monday tuesday and we'll eat the chicken wednesday thursday so i'll figure out the veggies for the chicken on thursday but yeah let me cook but first i want to unbox for you guys this la crusade pan that i bought today hold on so when's la crusade again i think my connection is growing at a much faster rate than i thought that it would um but yeah, my hubby insisted we go and get this one as well. So we went and got a pan today. So remember, it's all we got those casserole like dishes. So today we got a frying pan, and this one was also on sale. I think this one typically goes for about three thousand something, and I got it for like one point something, one point eight, I think. Um, but yeah, this is it. It is a twenty-eight centimeter toughened nonstick shallow frying pan so this is perfect for making like eggs bacon sausage you know frying whatever you need to fry with it's quite shallow though so you can't really use it to make things like stir fries or cabbage or things like that but yeah i'm really happy Marsha, a friend of mine recommended these i think she told me that she has the 30 centimeter and the 24 um i don't like small frying pans so i decided that i'm gonna get the 28 this one was on and it was on sale and i'm gonna get the 30. the 30 i'll get it another month because it's like three thousand something i'll maybe get it next month or the month after i'll see what's more important what's this booklet oh this is a can use document okay let me keep this but i think i can remove this sticker but yeah this is the frying pan i'm so happy and guys one thing i've noticed about the pans that i used to buy like from at home for example i used to buy those non-stick frying pans from at home is that is you get what i mean so they, they start having dents like at the bottom they start having like dents so now when you crack an egg instead of the egg just staying put it like runs and that leads to frustrate me okay instead of the oil distributing evenly on the pan it would only go to the place as chonil i hope this doesn't happen i don't think it would because these are really thick and really heavy but yeah this is the pan guys so so far i've got three la Creuset items i'm so happy i'm so so happy i think there's three more that i want to purchase during the course of this year um i actually made like a whole wish list on my notes on my notes document on my notes like on my phone, notes on my phone so oh so i said um so i wrote those three which i've already ticked off i also want to get the same frying pan that i just showed you guys but in a 30 centimeter and then i want to get a pink casserole so this casserole here but the shallow one not this deep one the shallow one and i want to get it in pink i think was snow royal monthly where has it i saw it from her absolutely love it and i want to get it in 26 centimeters 
and then i want to get this non-stick i think they call it a sauteers so it's basically like a pan but instead of having that one long handle it's got two handles on the side and it's quite deep so i'll show you guys a picture here um yeah so i'm gonna get another frying pan like this that that casserole that sino has that non-stick sautés. Marsha also recommended that sautés thing to me. So I'm going to get that. And those are the three that I'm going to get this year. So it's going to be these three that I have plus those three. That's six. And then as time goes by, I want to get these other four. But these ones are not really like a priority. Um, yeah, so I don't need to share them. But I'll get them like probably next year. But if I have these six, like these three that I have, and then the other uh, three that I'm going to buy sometime during the course of the year, my collection will be complete. Anyways, let me get to cooking. I'm just probably going to play music over the cooking so that I can make it go as quickly as I possibly can. And then, um, yeah, I'll close off the video just before I go to bed. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. done cooking and I am tired I am tired it's half past 11 I kept taking breaks because my feet hurt 
so i kept taking breaks in between my cooking but i'm done now i made a beef stew with some pumpkin mash for myself like i said because i'm doing low carb and i made some normal potato mash for the hubby and then i made some broccoli and i'm going to end this week here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up watch my next vlogs get where i put next week Keisha, I love you. Thanks for watching.